Welcome back to Savage Fabrication, Insta School Performance. This is a short video instead of a long one, going over my opinion and review of the 0.70, also known as a 12 centimeter housing, on an S300 with the 68 turbine wheel. So, um, before testing this housing, I ran one of my own villain housings um, on this truck. So, I got to get a real good idea of the differences between the two and how both operate. Um, so we'll go over the 12 first. Um, to note, I'm going to throw some poles on the end of this video, but the turbocharger, although did marginal or reasonably okay in EGT control, um, it did fail, in my opinion, when it comes to boost response. I unhooked the air assist actuator, so it's all spring actuator. The max pressure I could get it to was 50 pounds of boost, like 50 point something. Um, on the hills, it only wanted to go to 48. So take that for what it is. The issue that I have with the Telstar housing is it did this. So if this is zero pounds down here, and this is our max 50. No matter how much I change the fuel input, it went up linearly. 50, zero. So even when it was at um, 10, I can give it more fuel. It would still take the same amount of time to reach 20, 30, 40. So with less fuel and with more fuel, um, as far as time goes, it was taking the same amount to get up to that bigger number. EGT wise, it was fine, but this was a little bit annoying because I couldn't get it to spool faster, even supplying it with more heat energy through the fuel system. What the villain does is it starts off down here and it kind of comes up like this. So it goes up and then it hits about 15 pounds and then comes up and then does this. So again, 50, zero, five, 10, 15 and then it jumps 40 47 50 so the big difference is from here to here when comparison to a curve that's going more like a line is the villain housing produces substantially more torque in this region than the 12 cylinder did. So up here at the max, they both be producing the same power. And down here below, say 15, zero, 15, they're both producing the same power. <clears throat> but in this region, where this is at 20, 30, 40, and this is already at, 40, 47, 50, the villain is allowing the engine to consume quite a lot more uh, air because we're modifying the air density sooner in relation to engine RPM versus the 12, allowing the system to produce more torque, produce more horsepower, and run much cleaner. Um, I think with compounds, the, the 12 versus the 9 is not going to be as noticeable, but as a single, um, it was extremely noticeable as far as the spool up goes and then torque production above 15 pounds from 15 to 47 was way higher with the smaller villain housing um, in comparison to the larger 12 centimeter housing and i had the 12 centimeter housing set up to give me all the boost in the world no, no air reference i wanted all it was going to give. I was being mindful that <clears throat> if it was going to go past
past about 55. Um, I'd have to hook the air assist back up and get that dialed in. But out of the gate, I unhook the air assist. Um, I have an experience with that with the whole set stuff. I typically unhook the air assist right out of the box because I always need more pressure. And um, it worked out. It maxed out at 50 pounds. Um, I don't think adjusting it to make it any tighter would have made too much of a difference because we're getting close to where we're going to overshoot with that 63 millimeter wheel at 2700 RPMs. That is 70 pounds a minute with 90 degree uh, air coming into the uh, cylinder head. So that wheel is good for about 80, 85 pounds a minute. So we're getting close to the point where you don't want to push it too much harder at that boost pressure without lowering that pressure down. Um, to get rotor speed down to make it survive. So this is a pretty straightforward comparison. I didn't change anything with the tune, no injector changes, no timing changes. All I did, and even switch, changed the turbocharger itself, it stayed exactly the same. All I changed was the turbine housing that was being used. So I went from the villain housing, which is um, my new housing, to the tried and true 0.70, also known as the 12 centimeter. Um, EGT's maxed out at 1426 or 28 with that and with my villain they maxed out at 1410 probably a day-to-day -day difference um, so EGT's relatively were the same the difference was the big one is boost response it didn't matter if I gave it less fuel or gave it more fuel which you can test on the hill because the hills are long enough and, and supply you with additional load um, as I backed out or gave it more there wasn't a change in the boost response speed um, to lighting up it just took what it was going to take to get it going and it was happy go lucky doing that um, with housing the housing they have now it does kind of make that old school technology nowadays it's already old school the 12 is a very old housing um, Garrett and Borg both have plenty of new stuff out and they just choose not to address those housings um, so I saw uh, an opening there where I can go forth and address those housings and get them fixed. Uh, Borg did fix the turbine wheels in those. The earlier turbine wheels are more of a, um, a high flow uh, turbine wheel, but less work created turbine wheel. So it, it takes more exhaust energy to turn the compressor wheel uh, one revolution with the older stuff and the SX3s, the new SXE stuff. Um, prioritizes more creating work energy with the exhaust gas versus flow and the terminal is big enough to still flow uh, a plentiful amount to make sure that doesn't become a problem. They've, it is two different designs and the later design is geared more towards um, higher rotor speeds and higher boost pressures compared to the older one. I think that's a big part of why the housing was able to work on the S300. I don't know how well the housing will work on the older model. I do have an older model um, available to me to play with, and I do plan on taking it apart. Balance, it's, it's rebuilt, but it's before I own a balancer. So I do take a plan on taking it apart, uh, balancing it, make sure everything's good, and also giving the older turbine wheel a try and see if, even though it's not gonna be what the SXE is, it might still be pretty good, and then that would make it to where we can uh, retrofit even the old turbos with the villain housings, and it does become better than the 12 or the 14. Uh, the villain housing itself is a, um, based on experience off the whole set stuff, or the, you know, my Hero, my line of Hero chargers. Um, it is a 800 wheel horsepower rated housing. Um, it has gone to 1448 on spray on a 6.7, um, fuel only 6.7. I think it was 840, fuel only 5.9, 930, but I do rate them at 800 wheel because I have to average across um, the country and other uh, countries where this housing might be used as far as the, how their diagrams are going to read. So that's why I picked eight. Eight's a safe number. Nothing's going to come apart at eight when paired with the properly sized compressor wheel. So uh, here are a few clips for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Bye. So stopping to get fuel, but this is right after my little drive, 901 degree EGTs. Uh, fuel pressure, trans temp, TDR temp, and then bottom boost pressure. So 11.3 pounds of boost and 900 and it's like 901 degrees.